Hello folks, this is Ken Ackerthorn with my buddy Bill Wilson, another episode of The Gun Guys. And listen, before you forget it, right now, don't be afraid to push that subscribe button because lots of new and good information coming your way. Today, my buddy Bill's got a new product that he's gonna tell us about. What's going on here, Bill? Well, a lot of the viewers know we've had uh, a small compact, what we'd call our X-Series platform, uh, on the market for some time. Uh, we originally called this gun a EDC X9S for subcompact, and it took off so well, you know, it rapidly become our third best-selling handgun. You know, we decided to go ahead and push forward and turn it into a complete series. But when we did that, I got to reviewing everything, you know, on the price list and, and product numbers and all that. It's like, that name doesn't, it's gonna confuse people with the EDC series and this new series. So, you know, we bit the bullet. And so basically what we've done, we've changed the name of this gun. So anybody that has an older production gun, it's gonna say EDC X9S on the slide. And the, the new ones say SFX9 for solid frame X stack pattern uh, and nine millimeter. So that said, this is the gun that started this new series. It's a 10 plus one magazine capacity. It's got a three and a quarter inch uh, barrel. The, as, I, as I mentioned before, it's got the x tac pattern texturing front and back and the sides to get a real good grip. Actually, the, when we started this gun here, it was actually the idea of, of, of Brent Boyer, one of our engineers. And, and you know, cause he said, well, I think we can sell a shorter barrel gun. And so when we started working on it, it's like, well, if we're gonna make it shorter, uh, and smaller, let's make it thinner too. And so that's where we come up with the idea of basically deleting the grip panels and making a, a solid frame version of it to, to cut the, yeah. you know, to cut it down. So this is where we started. You know, like I said, it used to be called a EDC X9S, now it's called a SFX9. And it's a great little carry gun. I mean, it's actually, you know, it's don't, Look too close here, folks, because it's pretty radical. I carry it every day, but that's my personal carry gun. That's what I that's what I carry every day. You know, it's all beat up and it's it's uh, finished off a lot of wounded hogs. I can tell you that. Uh, so anyway, that's that's where we started there. I think yeah. you've shot that gun, haven't you? Yeah, it's a, and I noticed that from your original gun, the, the current ones have a little bit lower profile slide stop and and thumb. Uh, release on as far or as thumb safety. Yeah, all Which, the all the ten round uh, three and a quarter inch come with the the yeah. you know deep concealment thumb safety. I just had a full size thumb safety put on mine yeah, because no, I I'd, prefer it. it and, and again, I was like you, and I thought one of the neat things is the fact that you know it comes with a ten round magazine, but you can put one of the fifteen rounds on it just fine. That's oh, probably yeah. what you carry. As a yeah, spare. that's what I carry as a spare. There I've you got, go. I've got the you know, 15 round, you know, with a spacer at the bottom, which- Yeah, you know, and the base plate makes it so that basically gives you an extended grip, works yep. just fine. Works yeah. perfect. Cool. Yeah. It's a good feature, and I think, to be honest with you, when you first showed this to me down at the ranch and I shot it, I was a bit surprised. It actually shot a lot better than I expected. Oh yeah, they're, they're very accurate guns, and, and the recoil's pretty minimal on them. Yeah. You know, I mean, I feel real comfortable carrying one. I mean, that's, that's what I, like I say, that's what I carry every day. I've carried it probably for a year and a half now. You know, every day, my wife Joyce, that's what she carries. She carries one just exactly like this. I, I have one without a light rail, she has one with a light rail. Out of curiosity, obviously that was kind of, shall we say, the base to this future development. What yeah. was the idea? I mean, obviously you've decided to expand the line. Give me a rundown on what that expansion looks like. Okay, well step two was the same top end, three and a quarter inch slide, uh, but we had a lot of uh, customers ask for the full size frame. You know, we got a lot. Of, you know, we got a lot of customers got larger hands than what I've got. Right. You know, you know, they wanted one to where they didn't have to carry the 15 round mag in at all the time. They wanted a dedicated 15 round mag lower. So yeah. this is the, the the first evolution from that gun. It's the three and a half inch top end with a 15 round. So full you know, size bottom. grip, but a short overall slide. Full size yeah. grip with a short slide, and then for a range gun, this is my favorite one of the bunch right here. Yeah. You know, this this one's. Full size frame at the bottom. It's got our standard four inch, same slide that would go on an EDC X9. Original our orig gun. original gun. It's just marked SFX9, but it's exactly the same slide because 
all the slide assemblies, whether it's a X9 series gun or an SF series gun, all the slides interchange on the same frame rails. Cool. You know, we don't have different frame rail lengths for this gun or even the five inch. Gotcha. You know, and so we've got the four inch there, 15 round, and then we've got 15 round frame with the five inch slide, you know, the, basically the full size gun. Now this gun uses a traditional barrel bushing design. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the four, uh, four inch has, you know, the same cone barrel as the original EDC X9 okay. fluted, cool. fluted uh, cone barrel. And then the five inch gun is a bushing, bushing barrel gun. Okay. Just like a conventional 1911. Okay, another question, Bill. Compared to the original uh, X9 series, you in a rear sight is adjustable for elevation. I see these have all got fixed sights. So that's also a new feature to this SF series. Right? Well, that's, it's, that, that evolved the same way the, the longer grip evolved. That was from customers asking for the fixed sight version of it. Yeah. So and now they got a, that gives them another option. If they want adjustable sight, they can get the X9 series. If they want a fixed sight, they can get the yeah, SF series. Cool. Yeah, and you know, my experience has been, you guys do a great job of zeroing the guns. I know Greg and the guys out at the range do a real good job that generally when you get an adjustable sight, of the ones I've got, I've never had to adjust. They, they're right where they were when I got them as far as point of impact. And the other one, once you do adjust them, let's face it, you never change them oh, again. Yeah. So I, I'm a fan of fixed sights. If they print for you, mm -hmm. and as we all know, is if the gun doesn't print properly for you, it's just a matter of changing the height of the front sight. Yep. And uh, yeah, so I think that's, I like that feature. I think they're, it's attractive. I like the grip. Uh, you're right, full grip, and it gives you a, a good, for me, I, I've got a fairly big hand and the gun fits me very well. So, and I'm like you, I've shot them all here over the last day or so. I haven't shot the five inch, but I shot these other configurations and I'm like you, this is a gun that I would probably, if I was gonna buy one, I'd buy that one. That's the one I would carry because it'll do everything. Yeah, I, I expect this model right here to give the original X9 a, a run, a run for first money. I, 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 right. I will be surprised that a year from now, if this is not, our best, best selling handgun in, in the product I wouldn't line. be surprised. Because besides the gun being thinner for more easier concealment, it's flatter. And so you don't have that tent, near as much of a tendency, if, you know, if your hands are sweaty during recoil, for the gun to want to twist in your hand because you you're, 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 the gun's flatter, you're gripping more flat, you know, back, you know, front yeah. to back, and you get a lot more meat, yeah. you know, into the side of the gun there. So it's, it's easier to control to where you just have straight up and down muzzle flip rather yeah, than absolutely. a little bit of a side yeah. to side. Now, one of the things I'm curious about, Bill, when you introduced the original X9, I think we all understood. I was kind of mm -hmm. knew about it beforehand and was one of the, you know, one of the beta testers on the gun. We all knew that gun was going to sell well. Has it exceeded your expectations? Oh, absolutely. And yeah, certainly absolutely. the product line's growing. Oh, yeah, it's I don't know how many we have on back order now, but it is a lot. It's yeah. it's from a volume of, you say, your single stack pistols, which is what Wilson Combat was made famous mm -hmm. for, is, is there, you know, is it a kind of an equal demand or is it greater for the X9 series or greater for the, how would you characterize demand for this gun compared to the single stack? Uh, probably 70% for the X series guns and 30% for single wow. stacks. Yeah. That's a market change I don't think most people would expect. Yeah. And, and something that still shocks me, of the single stacks, still predominantly 45. I mean, you, you and I, we love our single stack nine millimeters. I mean, yeah. it's our favorite guns to shoot. But we still, about 80% of the single stacks we build are 45. Hallelujah. Yeah. God bless John yeah, Browning. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, cool. That, these are interesting product, products. And I'll be honest with you, I, this was the first time I saw it it's when I got here yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a brand new product, yeah. just coming on the market. Uh, I think that you're right. After shooting it and handling it, I would be surprised if this gun didn't, in numbers, probably outrun the existing uh, X9. Because let's face it, it for nothing else, when I was shooting it and doing some of the, the range work today for the Masterclass series, the fact that how much flatter it is when you take this pistol and you compare it to a regular X9 and you look at the profile, this is a flat gun. And yeah. as I said in the video then, you know, concealing a pistol, everybody worries about length. Length really isn't that big of an mm, issue. No. Other people worry about the butt length. Mm -hmm. And well, the bottom line is if you can get a grip on the gun, that's all that matters. Yeah. 
But the thickness, the bulk, yep. quite honestly, is over, especially if you wear a gun all day, is in fact an issue. Now, the levels of concealment vary depending on your lifestyle. Uh -huh. You know, I live fortunately in an area in the world today where concealment's not a big issue. I live in a free state and we have a constitutional carry system and candidly, nobody cares whether you got a gun or not. But I'm old school. I believe that I don't want people to see my gun. Mm -hmm. I think I'm giving up too much. Yeah. So when I leave my house to go anywhere, I put on a cover garment. The bottom line is, if you don't give people a reason to look for yeah. a gun, they don't even notice. They don't know it's there. They never so it. I think that is, would be the sweet spot for my purposes. And uh, But you've got all the bases covered. I think so. And, and this, I'm not going to say this is all the variations because there may be other ones too. Well, along <laughs> that vein, let's, let's discuss one thing. And this is kind of a hot spot topic right now, and that's optical sights. Mm -hmm. I know you guys have got your, is it True Zero you call mm -hmm. that system? I have one of the original X9s, five inches you guys sent me to try out, that's got that modification for the True Zero sighting system. I've got an uh, Aimpoint Acro on it. There are people that are, and we may talk about this in a future Gun Guys episode about red dots versus mm -hmm. iron sights, but good, bad, or indifferent, we all recognize the red dot sighted pistol future is probably going to be a bigger segment of the market. Yep. And that's probably, I'm gonna guess, something that you guys are gonna address at some point. Oh yeah, people will be able to get this with that mod if they want it. Wow, cool. Well listen, Bill, I'm impressed. I think every time I come, to visit, you've always got a new toy or two to show up, and this one's pretty impressive. All right, thank you. Great, hey listen, hope you enjoyed it guys. New goodies on the table, something to look for down the road. In the meantime, stay safe, and we'll see you the next time on Gun Guys. Mm -hmm.